What's up, y'all? It's your boy E. First of all, I gotta apologize today. Y'all ain't gonna be seeing my face because I look like a hot mess. So this is going to be me providing just commentary. Let's go ahead and dive in. Um, today, I'm gonna be talking about some of the benefits of backlighting your shots, why y'all want to backlight your shots, and then I'll cover some of the tips that hopefully y'all can incorporate in your technique and your workflow to help create beautiful backlit images. To begin with, let's kind of just talk about why would y'all want to shoot backlit shots. First reason, honestly, is it just looks amazing, y'all. There's a reason why a lot of shots in movies and even um, commercials are just backlit because it just looks dope. Um, it just looks amazing. Secondly, um, backlighting your shot helps to add a different element of depth to your frame. It's also convenient to backlight your shot, especially if you if you're a run and gun solo shooter and you're shooting in a natural environment. Now that I've covered some of the reason why you need um, to backlight your shots and some of the benefits, I'm gonna dive in and give y'all some tips to help y'all create better looking backlit shots. My first tip, if you guys haven't downloaded some type of a sun tracker, sun seeker app, pause this video right now and go download one right now. I personally use two apps, um, the Sun Locator Pro and Sunny Track. This video isn't sponsored by any means and they didn't pay me. I actually paid full version for both apps. Um, so go ahead and just pause this video right now and go download a Sun Seeker Sun Tracker app. You will not be disappointed. It's imperative that you get a Sun Tracker app because with the app, you can kind of keep in mind um, and just keep track of where the sun is with the position of the sun. Um, that helps to give you more control and it helps set the foundation and how you want to light your, your shot, especially if you're um, using natural lighting. Having a Sun Tracker app will help y'all just stay organized because you know exactly where the sun would be at any particular time. So for example, for this, I knew between kind of 745 and like 820 ish, I knew the sun would, um, especially for golden hour would be around here. And then roughly anything after that, the sun starts to go down. I would not have known this if I didn't have a sun tracker app. It also helps you to kind of know the direction of the shadows, spots that are going to be shaded, spots that are going to be lit up, and just how long your shadows will be. So if y'all haven't downloaded a Sun Tracker app, go get one. Just do it. Another tip to kind of just help y'all get better um, looking or just more cinematic backlit shots is to know the amount of sky you want to show in your frame. Now that is important for several reasons. One is it helps with exposure. And here's what I mean. So if I had shown more skies in this frame, I would show more of the sun. And with more of the shun, sun, shun, <laughs> with more of the sun showing, I had two options. I could either expose for the sun and severely um, underexpose for my talent, or I could expose for my talent and severely blow out the sun. But by just showing enough sky to where, yes, this is kind of clipped, but it's not as distracting as it would have been if I showed more. I don't mind just that little spot right here being kind of hot when I get this beautiful um, graduation and gradation from light to dark. I don't mind that, but I would not have been able to get this if I showed more um, of the sun. And if I had just turned um, my camera just a little bit to the right. Um, so that's just something you guys need to keep in mind. So now that we've covered 
that let's talk about some tips on how you can use composition to help accentuate and just help polish your backlit shot so the first thing i mean everyone as a filmmaker you've heard this term before the rule of thirds very important concept in filmmaking because it just helps you create depth so by putting um my talent on the left side of the frame our eyes are naturally drawn to her yeah there's stuff here but surprisingly your eyes isn't as focused on those part of the frame on the right part of the frame versus on the left side another thing that helps add to this is my use of leading line these shadows here because of how long they are they kind of help to box in right so you see right here they go this way and at the end of this right here your eyes wants to go somewhere and boom because of these leading lines you're just drawn in there to the talent or the character or the focus of the frame another um tip when it comes to composition is just to shoot through stuff and this is important um, because you want to create depth in your frame when you shoot through stuff um emphasizes um your foreground maybe middle ground background deep background right by shooting through this it helps add depth to that and it also helps just squeezing the frame a little bit because since there isn't much to see here we're still focused on that so another tip um just kind of another important thing to keep in mind is to understand your levels right and your gradation from light to dark i mean we kind of see it in this frame right we go from light to middle gray and then we go from dark light dark light dark light dark light light dark and just all over the frame we kind of see that let's go to a different frame so you guys can just kind of see these elements just play um just come together like just to show you just the difference oh wow okay so i love this frame this is a gorgeous frame sun is still right there right we don't show too much skies but just enough to get the hint for this one i showed a, just a tad more skies but still i'm okay with just that little corner being blown out i'm okay with that i'd rather have that than just have like half of the um frame blown out so i hope y'all can see just the excitement of just when you start to understand all of these elements um that help create a beautiful frame and then when you add just backlight to that y'all see just that hit, just that glow on there and it's just honestly this concept of backlighting and just understanding framing and just composition and using some of these tips personally um has improved my cinematography so that's pretty much it y'all um that's pretty much all i got for this if you guys um enjoy this video and if you feel like y'all learned something from this definitely would appreciate it if y'all um subscribe like this video and comment let's just go ahead and watch the whole of this sequence That's pretty much it. Y'all have a good one, man.